Hey, welcome back to Bone Drive Bonsai. I'm Joel. I, uh, I'm working on a Chinese pistache. I just wanted to do structural wire. And then I started just going crazy. Um, and then I also kind of revisited my little holly. I, I did more defoliation. I got some really good feedback in the comments um, about taking them the full 70% off. And then I thought, you know, I gotta stop, I gotta just go for the wire. If I want the wire, I need to put the wire on. And so I went ahead and did it. There was a comment about the things I've been saying and kind of the vernacular I've been using. And um, I am, a member of Mirai Live now. I, uh, I don't know, maybe for a month. Um, so, Ryan, if you ever watch any of these, sorry, dude. Um, I'm working on it. Um, the teaching is fantastic. It's really keyed for somebody like me that uh, needs to see a result. It's kind of my personality. Um, I, think it, I think what Mirai does is it lays out a strategy to get from A to Z in a functional way, but not ignoring the aesthetic at all. Um, that's the part that he can't teach, though, is the creativity. You can be as functional as you want and study all the design stuff, but some of that creativity is... Uh, hard to come by. I, I think that's my biggest struggle. Anyway, babbling. Um, you'll see why some of these are wired and some aren't. Um, I broke a few branches on both of them. I've got a couple of breaks in my primaries here that I just left. I just tried to lay, lay things out as best I could for some efficiency. Monterey, I did a little bit of work on my Monterey Cypress as well. Um, butterflies flying around. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks a lot for the comments. The comments are great. I really appreciate um, all the help. Um, identification of some of these trees is really helpful. Um, and just, you know, technique. Really appreciate it. Check it out. So I'm coming back to the dwarf holly. I, um, I've been working here trying to reduce these leaves a little bit more. Someone said in the comments that 70% is really where it's going to be effective for what you're trying to accomplish. And I'm trying to just get more ramification. Hoping that it responds in that fashion. There are buds swelling at the bases of these leaves. So I think that's really positive. Um, I, I like this for the front. I kind of had it on an angle in the last video. I don't know, I just, I kind of like this base and the way I get a little bit of flare right there, kind of a kickback. But I do want to carry it to the right, so... I don't know, something like that. But but I am, I'm going to wire this thing. I decided that I just got to commit to the tree. I was all scared and chickened out um, when I did the first partial defoliation. Because I thought that the branches were too weak and, you know, it's just... Uh, something that I need to get over and try and, and commit to the what I want to do. And if I break something, it'll regrow.
Could I actually carry that out? That's really fat wire. I think I could do it though. Bring the branch to the wire. So, that's cool. That's very cool. So I did break this little branch right here at the base. I did think I wanted to get rid of it anyway. I want my first move to be up. I want to try and close this angle a little bit. I just broke right here. Little crack. I'm not gonna freak out about it. Oh, there went another branch. All right. Maybe this is beyond my skill set.
Okay, so all wire on. And this is what I, this is what I did. I broke up. I broke. You know, I broke probably five of these. But I got what I think is structure set. Um, I pulled, I put a guy wire here and I pulled this. I wanted this angle to be a little bit more acute here. Um, and I broke that branch doing that. Of course, I broke it in the opposite direction. The trouble that I was having, um, I felt like I broke more branches just getting my big stupid hands on stuff while I was wiring other stuff. I didn't really break when I was bending. I broke by fumbling, but um, I also went farther with the with the partial defoliation. I took the leaves smaller, so. So right about there, I think. Um, I don't want this to be straight. I want to have just a slight angle. I like the way this, I like this is wide out to here. I like this little flirt right here. Um, so, yeah, I think something simple like that would be nice. After things regain strength and I start seeing more choices this will probably come off. Maybe defining branch out here, getting longer, tighten this up, tighten this up, um, keep this down and kind of grow this up. Although I've got a broken branch here. This one broke on me and I'm just gonna leave it, but I probably should take it off. I don't know. I wanted one of these to take over as a leader. I've still got a solid one here as long as it makes it. So, yeah, dwarf holly. Love it. Hoping for more growth. So I think I just want to get some of these weaker pieces off. I think this is new growth. I don't think it's dying. So, like, this is kind of a weak branch right here not really doing a lot for me I don't think maybe taking more from the tree than it's worth because of the root mass that I have now there's going to obviously have to be more branches that come off of this tree but um, I just want it. I want on the tree right now what's going to be the best for it to uh, recover. Branches split at the end, right here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it off now. I'm 
just trying to take away anything that I don't think can contribute to the tree and actually would be a detriment right now as I see it because of the uh, size of the root mass. I know that I, I can't leave I can't leave all these threes but some of them have new growth on them and so for now I just want to save it I don't think I'm going to cause any structural flaws while this tree's recovering I'm just, I'm trying to be real gentle and just pluck off anything that's just really fragile. Because the way I see it, if it's really fragile, um, it's not, it's not, there's no way it's going to do anything for the tree. If anything, the tree's trying to help it survive um, before it chucks it for being a freeloader. I think it'll pump a certain amount of energy before it says, okay, you know, you're done. I've wasted enough on you. You've got to go because you're not contributing to the cause. And I'll probably leave, you know, these weaker branches in here since they do look like they've got good growing tips. Um, but if they're in the same spot as one of these other branches, like one of these is gonna have to go, one of these is gonna have to go eventually. And maybe a maybe bunch maybe a bunch of them maybe this tree's bare in the middle when I finally figure out what I want to do with it. I'm gonna take this off. I know it's got good growth on it. But it's just killing me that it's a flaw there on the end. God bless you. So that's kind of what I'm down to. I'll bring you in and show you a, kind of a closer look at this foliage. And uh, how I made my choices. 
So I just started taking branches off that, you know, these will obviously have to get thinned out. The more, more branches are gonna come off, but I wanted to leave as many on as I could. I tried to leave the strongest growth on. I think that's new growth. These are the branches that came off. That some of them had new growth too. Most of it was just really brittle needles that just came right off with my fingers. I'm sure those low branches will be coming off the tree later. And I see this thing getting shortened as well. Given that it makes it, I don't want to count my chickens. All right, this is what I think is a Chinese pistache. It's in a flower bed somewhere. And uh, I think I got three of them. Really pretty in the fall, they turn red orange but uh, I'm gonna try and I'm thinking I gotta carry the tree to the right I'm gonna try and get it a little farther and establish this as kind of the trunk line into an apex I want these wraps 55 to 60 degrees evenly spaced the wire is supposed to come out of the soil at the same angle and I think I want to start in the back Hitting kind of right where I want it to. At the end of this, I've got three. I've got a, a division here, and then this third branch here. I like that smaller third branch, but I think I think I want to go with these the, the two larger branches. So I'll take that off. And I want to try and continue this wire. I think onto this branch. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Somebody might be able to, but not me.
made that choice, not by choice, but I made that choice. this trunk, I think, to come back just a little bit to the left. But with a bend headed towards the right. it right there. Just gonna leave it. I may wire this small stuff, I don't know. I'm gonna have to make a decision. I 
I think I wired it. I think I broke it early and wired it all the way out. Wired a broken branch all the way out. I wasn't going to wire this little branch, but now that I have this wire here, this is really good practice. This is a very dainty branch. best I got. I just broke this one. I'm gonna leave it. I've been playing, I don't know what I'm doing, but I, I Really, I'm practicing. I went ahead and laid these out just so they'd be all laid out in the sun. I'm going to take, I'm going to thin them out, take the ones off. I'm not sure it's ready to be full on hit hard. I, I think it still needs to harden off. I. I don't think the cuticles form. These leaves are still pretty soft. I've taken a few, mostly not by choice. Um, some of them by choice though, but a couple of them I just broke. But now that I did this, I guess I gotta do the rest. I don't know. But yeah, I was trying to get some movement. I was playing, I was just playing. I still wasn't sure what I wanted to be my apex. Now I'm pretty sure this is going to have to be my apex. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to just try and bring this back into position a little bit to the right or to the left. Maybe lay it down. Now that I know it's going to be a branch. I'm not going to wire any of this stuff up here. I'm not really expecting this to make it, but I like these branches, I do. I like these three. I'm gonna take this one off. <coughs> so, I just broke right here. There's no getting that back. So I guess the best thing to do if you break it is not to mess with it, not to try and put it back into position, but just treat it and uh, hopefully it'll heal. I did want to come back more to the right though with that. Something like that maybe. Yeah. I gotta get these laying down in the back. Get this to come out. I'll keep working.
broken a few rules in the wiring realm tonight. Wow. Right to the end. So I wired everything. I wired every little branch except for this one. I I don't want to get out here on the tip of this since I broke it. And I don't want to mess with that branch. I've got a break right here. I'm pretty sure that I'll make it worse <clears throat> if I try and put wire on this branch. But I went ahead and wired these out. I left these alone. Um, I actually stripped this one of leaves so this one could get more light, hopefully. I don't know. I should probably just take those two off, but 
I'm hoping for to keep the flow going in this branch. Same with down here. I've got these long. These are really long because uh, I'm hoping for flow so I get more of this. And hoping that I get a leader here. I don't know. These branch or these leaves were really fragile and frail. I may have done some damage, but uh, I don't know. I just wanted to put a little bit of movement in it and um, also set the branches out and get some practice. I've got some stuff screwed up. I've got some stuff screwed up here with my wiring. I mean, it's it's not just as easy as throwing wire on the tree. There's really a function to it. And if you spend any time watching Mirai live, which I'm trying to do more of, because I'm trying to get better at this, <laughs> it's, it's kind of a mind blower, all the things you gotta think about. And I'm not there. But that was fun. I enjoyed doing that. I think it was good practice, especially on these little tiny branches. And so we'll see how this goes. I'll probably let these harden off a little bit more and uh, then maybe do a partial defoliation. And, and unless I see some other kind of reaction out of the tree just from this. Because um, I did lose some foliage. <laughs> in the process here. This is what came off tonight, some by accident and some not. So, really wacky looking out of proportion Chinese pistache. Thanks for watching, Bone Dry. Take care.